So that's chest day done. So yeah, that was a good workout. I'd rate that eight out of 10, nine out of 10. I got a good amount of reps on my dips. I got about eight reps, I'm pretty sure on my dips, on my body weight dips at the end, which was good. My triceps felt pretty good. Uh, I did just a regular bench press instead of the decline bench press because I wanted to see whether or not 
I could perform better on regular bench press and obviously I couldn't. So now I know it's not very wise most likely to do bench press for the third Yeah, for the third exercise, so now I know it's not very not very wise to do bench press for the third exercise on chest day. Most likely be, be best. Uh, yeah. Someone just almost crashed. Somebody almost crashed just before. So that's terrific. But uh, yeah, I mean, just got distracted there before but yeah so now I know for my next chest day it's not very wise probably to do bench press just because I'm extremely fatigued and fatigue and yeah it's not really not really worth it to be honest so yeah I think on the next next chest day I'll probably do just the incline bench press incline fly maybe just some kind of maybe just a regular fly as well after that or maybe just go straight to the uh, parallel bar dips but uh, yeah we'll, we'll get to that later we'll get to that you know when I review my program and see what the, what the story is between you know what the story is What's going on with the program and things like that so yeah those parallel bar dips those felt really good on my triceps I was able to really fully stretch my chest and get a good contraction on my triceps so yeah I mean it was really good but I probably should have gotten should have gone slower on each and every repetition but that's for another session to go over really so yeah I mainly look forward to I look forward to training back actually because now I know I can really just concentrate on my back like beforehand so I can go and do barbell rows I most likely will switch out barbell rows something different just because yes although it's good but I don't necessarily find it that beneficial for me I'm trying to because I'm trying to really uh, because I've been doing it for a while so maybe I might do dumbbell row instead the only thing that I wish was that the gym that I currently go to have a really really high bench where I can fully extend my arms without the dumbbells touching the floor so then I can stretch my back that's what I wish I don't really yeah that's the only thing that I sort of wish but I mean I'm grateful that oh, just gonna yawn I'm grateful that the gym went through a renovation and it got it all fixed and it's pretty schmick and it's in good nick so yeah yeah grateful for that but I look forward to, yeah, like I said, I look forward to training back because I want to try and do dumbbell row. But I've never really done single arm dumbbell row just because I've, I've never really found it a beneficial exercise for me. So it always comes down, like I say, usually to specificity. And you could say that it's got a little bit of individuality in it, but mainly specificity, you know doing what's specific to your training program, you know, what you need and whatnot. So, yeah. I look forward to, yeah, trying out the dumbbell rows. But I'll have to, f I'll have to see because I'm not sure if there is a bench that does go high there. I mean, there might be, but I'll just have to find out. So, yeah. But it's no harm, no harm done, no harm done at all. I just have to, you know, on the day I'll just have to 
walk around and look for a look for a bench because I've got one and if they don't then I'll probably just have to improvise really and maybe create one or sometimes the machines that they have available their benches are already pretty high up so you don't really need to yeah you don't really need to go and create one or look for a spare one anywhere so yeah but after that I think I'll continue doing the the pull down with the straight bar just because I like that and because the other day I've just seen that they've brought in another straight bar that's actually much better that I used my tricep push down for shoulder and arm so for arm down so I'll definitely be using that and yeah there's nothing else really much to it other than yeah other than that so I look forward to yeah I look forward to seeing how that training program will go and I look forward to really just trying dumbbell rows because I've done it before in the past and I've really liked it they've just never been a, a bench press that's been higher up like a bet like a, a bench that's been higher up but I'll probably just, yeah, like I said before, I'll most likely just have to improvise and create one or just, you know, see where I can go from there, really. So, yeah. And then after that lap pull down, or the pull down on the cable, after that, I'll do possibly, I'll possibly do pull ups, but I'll see how we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too fussed about my back day because, you know, usually you can't, I feel as if for myself, I can't necessarily go too wrong with doing back. The only thing that I go a little bit too wrong with is arms and shoulders because I'm like, oh, I don't know whether to do compounds first or do a, a pre-exhaust and go and do side raises. Like, I'm sort of indecisive when it comes to those muscle groups, but when it comes to back, chest and things like that I'm like yeah I know exactly what to start with and I know what I should be starting with so yeah and yeah my felt my uh, chest felt really good felt really pumped up and yeah got a really good pump and you know that's all you can ask for really so yeah I mean who doesn't love a who doesn't love a good chest pump or a good leg pump or something like that obviously when you're training legs you're not you're not always going to feel great but having that pump sort of in your legs during the workout do you kind of feel it? It does feel pretty good. But, yeah. After the workout, like now, you feel really tired and kind of drowsy and a bit like all over the place. So, yeah. But it's not so much of a big deal because at least you sort of come out knowing that you've done a good job. But, yeah. A lot of people... You know, I think it's quite rare as well, just another topic. I think it's quite rare that people actually undertrain. You know, undertraining, I don't know if that's such a if that's a terminology that some of you people, some of you guys have heard. But yeah, undertraining is like just not basically just not doing enough in order to stimulate growth. So yeah, I mean I've not really heard of any instances of people undertraining but Except for times where you get those popular influences, and I'm not going to say their names because I don't really care about starting any kind of beef because well, that's what people call it, the terminology is beef or arguments, but I have no interest in that, so yeah. But anyways, you've got people that go and do stuff like, you know, oh, I've got to leave like five reps in reserve, you know, R, I, R, and sort of thing. I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine, but I mean, for me personally, I'd much rather go to the point of absolute failure. So then I know where my strength lies and I know exactly, you know, you know, just to say that again, I'd much prefer go to failure, you know, to failure and, you know, almost like Buzz Lightyear is quite to infinity and beyond type stuff, like to failure and beyond, beyond failure. So if you guys were watching this video at the start, on the incline press, Kai and I were doing 
as many reps as we can with a certain amount of weight. So Kyle was doing two 20 kilo plates on each side, and I was doing just a 20 kilo out of 15 on each side. And yeah, we were taking each set to failure, doing as many reps as we possibly could, and then the spotter, which would either be uh, myself or Kai, whoever's you know spotting, would then at the end when they've really failed, grab the bar, grab the bar, and lift it up for them, and then let them control it on the way down. That's really to just burn out that that muscular, you know, you know, muscular energy. Really to just give that muscle reason to grow in a way you know what I mean so yeah I don't know why I said you know what I mean as if I'm talking to my dog was on next to me but yeah it's all good but yeah that's my sort of philosophy of training itself like I'd much rather I think it's very productive to train to failure almost every set that you do you know at least you know where your strength lies because if you don't actually train to failure then how do you know where your strength is and how do you know how strong you truly are so that's why I think training to failure is one of the most important things that you know, a bodybuilder can do but yeah enough been said uh, just arriving at home now so I'm gonna go upstairs as per usual and have something to eat just make sure you guys you know you guys, whoever's watching this, whenever you finish your workout, it's always wise within, within like, like you don't have to have something to eat straight away, but it's always wise to eat something. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.